U.S. banks are closing a large number of branches right now. Another ominous sign of the financial meltdown that has started to unfold. They are also laying off workers by the thousands in preparation for the chaos that is ahead. According to new reports, record high interest rates and turmoil in the real estate industry are adding an enormous amount of pressure on the nation's biggest financial institutions. Even big names like J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, and Goldman Sachs have reported major losses in recent months, and they know a much bigger crisis is approaching. That's why banks are getting very tight with their money, reducing their brick-and-mortar footprint and slashing their headcounts as they fear mass withdrawals and more failures could happen in the coming winter. Experts say these are the very early stages of another global financial crisis, and many fully expect conditions to get even worse from now on. In the first seven days of October, banks closed a whopping 54 branches, leaving an increasing number of Americans without access to basic financial services. Bank of America shuttered 21 branches in the first week of October, according to a bulletin published by the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, OCC, on Friday. Similarly, Wells Fargo eliminated 15 branches, while U.S. Bank and J.P. Morgan Chase reported closing 9 and 3, respectively. More recently, Santander and Citibank closed nearly 20 branches each. Bank executives say financial institutions have started investing more in their online platforms where they expect consumers to handle more of their banking transactions. For that reason, they're continuously trimming their physical footprints, pushing some of the savings to their bottom lines, and reinvesting the rest in evolving technology. However, some analysts argue that those decisions are also strategic, with fewer branches around. When another wave of bank runs occurs, only a limited amount of customers will have access to their local bank to try and take their money out of the system. The reductions can also help financial institutions to limit the amount of losses they experience in such situations. The trend is not new. Bank branches have been closing at a frightening pace for quite some time now. Since 2010, about a thousand branches have closed every year. But... It appears that the closings have started to accelerate after the pandemic, especially during the second half of 2023. Over the past 12 months, U.S. banks shut down over 3,100 locations, according to S&P Global. From 2021 to 2022, 